Hey, everybody, it is that time again, Facts Man Friday. Now, doing a little something different this week. No normally, after last week winning our 11th straight pick here at Don Best, you know, I'd probably come out here and, you know, blow my own horn on how great I am, but I'm not going to do it. First of all, that's a bad choice of words. If I could blow my own horn, I wouldn't be doing this video, and I'd very rarely leave the house. That's another story. What, one thing I want to say. People that watch this video, I hope you're watching other videos that are out there. I know in this business, you know, everybody seems to not like other handicappers. It may be a jealousy factor. You go to the guys at Don Best and you, and you look at the Todd Furmans, who you like the son I always wanted, knows more about sports than I'll ever, ever, ever imagine. You know, guys like Bruce Marshall, uh, um, Brian Blessing, you ever see his videos? I and mean, he's as professional as you get. I mean, my, my favorite. Kenny White, I couldn't do a video without him. I mean, Kenny gives me the lines. You know, he's so good with lines. I'm telling you, he'll tell you the first half line on the Kent State Bowling Green game next fall. He'll give you a line on a kangaroo race in Australia. He'll tell you the two is an overlight at five to two, and the six has closing speed. That's the kind of shit he does. He's unbelievable. So, guys, get a chance and watch them, guys, you know, when they do their videos. There's a ton of sports knowledge out there. You know, there's a lot of people behind the scenes, you know, like Pat Williams' group there that you don't even see to make this stuff happen. Guys like like John and Maddie and, and Ryan, these guys do a hell of a job to make these videos good. So best group out there and enough of them. I'm 11 and 0 going for 12 and 0. It's my turn. All right, here we go. On Friday, what we're going to do, we are going to play a total, total. Get my notes here. I normally don't have notes, but I've been under the weather a little bit. I need notes. Last week, we got our 11th. What did we do? What did I say? Bet against Van Vance Worley. He's a tramp. He sucks. He gave up seven runs in the first inning. Bang, we win that game 16-5. to five. He pitched one inning, and he got cracked, just like we said he would. Great news. He's pitching again on Friday, and he's pitching in Chicago. So nice part about that is I'm getting confirmation. When the, the ball's going to have a little carry on the south side of Chicago. And facing PV. He's the type of pitcher, yeah, he'll beat Cleveland. Yeah, he'll beat Kansas City. Played played in Washington, pretty friendly hit his, hit his park, gives up three home runs. He's a guy that gives up some home runs. We know that. He gives up home runs. Damn, Worley, I don't have to tell you about him giving up home runs. He's got that tattooed on his ass. He gives up home runs. His ERA is like 11. I mean, he's, he's, he's off the charts bad. I'm expecting, you know, some runs to be scored in this game. I think the Twins will be able to hold their end up scoring. I think they're 10th in the league on on-base percentage. They've got nine home runs through 13 games. Uh, White Sox have 19 through 13 games. So we know both of these teams at least hit the ball. The ball should be going out of the park. So I think our perfect scenario is, uh, to summarize, we've got teams, two teams that should be able to go deep against these certain pitchers. I like that. Um, the play over looks tr tremendously solid here. I really think you're going to see the ball carry a lot in Chicago on Friday. I really do. I think you're going to see routine fly balls go out of the park. I told you last week, a lot of the balls, uh, will be a ton of home runs in that game. There were, we had 21 runs scored 16 by the team we had. I want to win this 12th game. It's real important. Okay. Definitely want to win this 12th. We're going to do it over like Grover on Friday, Chicago, White Sox, Minnesota twins over eight and a half. The game will end in the teens. There'll be minimum four home runs hit in the game. Minimum. For DonBest.com, www.sportsforumpicks. Find me on Twitter at, at TheFactsMan1. That's the number one. And for The Facts Man, have a great day, a tremendous weekend, and good luck to everyone.